Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to find a length of a string. In A086, the characters are placed in A086 by means of ASCII value. So here I have shown a table. Uh, so for example, the A is mentioned as a 41 as ASCII value and B is mentioned as a 42 and C is 43 and D is 44. Likewise, for every characters in this table, we have given the corresponding ASCII values. And then for numeric values from 0 to 9, we have given from 30, 31, 32 and towards 39. So for example, for a string character for hello, H-E-L-L-O, hello. So for hello, H is equal to 48 and E is equal to 45 and L is equal to 4C and L is equal to 4C and O is equal to 4F. So we need to find the length of a string. We will find here uh, the number of characters which we stored in this string. So for example, in this hello, H-E-L-L-O. So the value is 5. The output is 5. The number of characters which we stored in the string is 5. So for this, we will write a program. We need to find a uh, corresponding number of characters which we stored in a string. That is the aim for this program. So when you go for string operation, we will use source index and destination index registers. In source index, from which place we are going to take an input address, input data, that address will be stored in the source index. Destination index means to which address we are going to store the corresponding output, that is called destination index. So let me uh, start with origin. 100 h and move source index comma 1200 so the 1200 will be a address data which we store in the SI once any value stored in the SI will act as a address and then move so now let me the commands SI is equal to 1200 h so now we need to find a length of a string so that uh, for suppose for example at first I will read a h then once I read the h I will increment the data by 1 then once I read the I, e then I will increment the data by 2 and then I'll, I'll, I, will see, I will read the third character then it will increment by 1 portion so it will be 3 then I'll, I will read the fourth character so then the output will be increment by 4 so the output will be stored in the dx register so dx comma ff fff okay so in your program always you please give 0 ff ff so in the dx i have stored ff let me say why i have stored the ff ff later okay and then so then when will I find the end of your string? When will I find the end of the string? So after the four, after five characters, I will give f of, I will give f of. So at first it will read the first character, okay? And then it will read the second character, and then it will read the third character, I will read the fourth character, and then fifth character, and then sixth character is f of. So once f of comes, this will get failed, and then whatever stored in the DX register, it will be stored in an output memory location. So DX is for number of characters. Number of characters. So now let me move AH comma 0 F of H. In AH I have declared this F of. I have declared this F of. So now you please increment DX. Increment DX. So now we know that, so in your Azure ATX we are storing 16 bit data. So the maximum value is f of f of. So by increment is dx. So what happens? So dx value becomes 0, 0. dx value becomes 0, 0. So that's why I have declared here as a f of f of. Suppose if you have declared here as a 0, 0, 0, 0, then by increment dx, so it will goes to one. We do we didn't read any we didn't read any character, but it will goes to one. That's wrong, right? So that's why we have declared this dx is equal to zero f of f of h. So then once increment dx, then 
move your first data move al comma si in si1200 we have data called 48 in 1200 in 1200 we have 48 first character in 1201 we have a second character 45 in 1202 we have a third character uh, 4c in 1203 we have a, a fourth character 4c in 1204 we have fifth character 4f in 1205 we have a ff so at the end of the string we will give ff at the end of the string we have we will give ff after hello we have given ff so in si si is 1200 so from 1200 member location we have data called 48 it will be moved to the AL. It will be moved, moved to the AL register. So AL is equal to 48. AL is equal to 48. So once I load this first data, then I will increment the SI. I will increment the SI. So the SI will become 1201. SI become 1201. Then now I will compare the two data. Compare AH comma al why i am comparing okay in ah i have stored ff i have stored ff so i am comparing whether the string is ended or not whether the string is ended or not okay so suppose for example 48 minus ff 48 minus ff okay sorry the ah is ff right so ff minus 48 ff minus 48 so now compare means what happens it will subtract the data but it will not store the register value any data in the registers but it will affect the flag registers so compare is equal to ah minus al and flags are affected flags are affected so when will i find in the end of the string so when i compare ff minus ff that time it becomes zero then that indicates that the string has been ended string has been ended okay so but now what happens we are comparing ah and al where ah is ff ah is ff and al is 48 so we won't get zero we won't get zero so when we get zero that means that the string has been ended so when will the string will get end once we get the ff end of the string is ff so once we get ff that will be get string the string has been ended so compare ah comma al and then until zero comes so here zero won't come so jump no zero jump no zero give loop so where will you give the loop so we have there we have taken the first data first data is not ff so i'll give the loop over here so now the dx becomes zero one so one character has been read so now si is 1201 in 1201 we have data called 45 so 45 will be load and then increment si si becomes 1202h 2 and then compare h comma al compare ff comma al al is 45 so ff minus 45 there is there will be some positive number so it will not be zero so once again jump dx becomes 0 2 then what happens move al comma si si is 1202 so in 1202 we have a 4c so 4c is moved to the al register 4c is moved to the al register once again increment si so it becomes 1203h and then compare ah comma al compare ah is ff and al is 4c so this is not zero so once again it becomes 4c and once again it becomes 4f 4f and then it becomes ff so it will be keep on going 1204h and then 1205h okay so once a compare ah comma al in al we have ff in ah also we have ff so both ff minus ff zero so this loop gets failed this loop gets failed so in dx we must have five 
H-E-L-L-O Okay, 48, 45, 4C, 4C, 4 of 5 5 character has been 5 character has been read so the length of the string is 5 so the 5 is 5 is stored in the DX register so now we will load the DX value in some memory location so insert rows below and then move 1100 comma DX and then halt to the program to a program so now let us execute this program given 0 I have instead of 0 I have given O sorry so the compile has been done so now emulate it so in emulate go to your view go to memory go to 1200 and then give characters value uh, so 45 4 2 4 C 4 C 4 F F F So here I have given 5 characters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let us see what's output. So you can see in DX the 5 has been loaded. And then go to view, go to memory, and go to 1100. So we have loaded, sorry, 100H. Zero zero. Update. Give data four one two two four one four C four C four F F F. So I have given five characters. So the five has been loaded. Go to view. Go to memory. In one one zero zero memory location, you can find a five. So the le the length of the string is five. The simple concept. The at the, at the end of your string. We will mention it as a f of. So we will be comparing first number with f of, first value, first character with f of, second character with f of, third character with f of, fourth character with f of, fifth character with f of, then last character with f of. So once it becomes zero, then this loop gets failed, then output stored in memory location. So this is the length of the string, you can do it. Thank you for watching.